What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new tuning in, go ahead and subscribe and support, all right? So listen, I want to jump right in and talk about Megan Thee Stallion, you guys. She is supposedly is getting canceled. So a group of Asian American activists are trying to get female rap star Megan Thee Stallion canceled for using alleged racial slurs in her rhymes. It all started last month when the activist group began digging in the bottom of the trash can and searching through Megan's lyrics with a magnifying glass and this is what they found. She used the apparent Asian slur Ching Chong. So the Asian activist took to TikTok to spread the word of Megan's lyrics. First of all, I feel like they are reaching, okay? I truly believe Megan is nowhere near being racist towards Asians. These Asian activists need to first look up the definition of a racist because this clearly ain't it. I wish people would stop weaponizing this anti-Asian movement to continue to cover up the racist hate crimes against black people that have been happening for centuries. And besides that, there is no black people hate Asians going on nothing out here, okay? The media has painted this narrative to make people believe all of a sudden that black people are out here attacking Asians. Black people are Asians' number one customers. The Asians have the restaurants, the nail salons. They run most of the corner stores and liquor stores in the ghetto, in the hoods, okay? The list goes on. These Asian activists are reaching, okay? It has been centuries where black people are attacked and called racial slurs by Asians and white people, and nothing has never, ever been done about it. Where is that same energy for anti-black racism? Check out this new Asian trend on TikTok where Asians are doing blackface. Hmm. Welcome to my channel. This is Suzy aka Wakanda Queen. What do you have to say about this anti-Asian people? Nothing. Only people that are going to cancel Megan is maybe the Asians because she ain't going nowhere in my book. Now listen, I have nothing against any race, but what have the Asians done for this country? I'm just saying. But yet, soon as the president is in the office, he passed this bill. But he has the nerve to tell black people that if they don't vote for him, we are not black? The ignorance of it all. Chinese people don't support black people. They don't even like us. They don't buy anything from black owned businesses. No, nothing. If I go to Chinatown where I live right now, any nail salon or any Chinese grocery store, okay, I would love to show you all how they treat me because the color of my skin. And it's a shame that a foreigner, a person of non color, can come here to this country and get approved for a business loan quicker than an African. American person and that's true facts my point is the Asians have more rights than black people okay but back to Megan the stallion let me know what you all think about her uh, Asian lyrics okay do you all think she's racist or do you think the Asian activists are reaching and looking for attention make sure you comment down below and don't you forget to what subscribe and come on back for more and I am out of here peace President Biden, your first day of office, you signed an executive order to protect the life and safety of transgenders. I have no problem with that. But you did it on your first day. But he sat up here with you, Charlemagne, and told black people that if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. So if you went out of your way begging black people to vote for you, why haven't we got an executive order or any other activity coming out of the Oval Office from President Biden to protect black people from police? Look what he's doing with the anti-Asian hate. President Joe Biden signed an executive order that is exclusive to Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. I don't have a problem with that. But if you can protect the Asian American and Pacific Islander from violence, why can't you do the same thing for black people? They've been dealing with violence for one year as a result of COVID. That's what it's called, the COVID-19 hate crimes bill mm -hmm. to protect Asians as a result of discriminatory treatment that they've been dealing with for how long? One year. Black people have been catching hell for four hundred years and we have yet to get an executive order from joe biden to protect us from the police so can i ask you a question 
If the Senate was able to pass the anti-Asian hate crimes bill, Charlemagne and Envy, 96 to 1, with almost no opposition, why is it that the Emmett Till lynching bill still has not been approved? Why is it that they have been over 200 different anti-lynching bills introduced in the U.S. Congress? 200! And not one of them has been approved by the U.S. Congress yet. But the first ever Asian bill goes through on the first try. Mm. Look at the racism. Look at the discrimination. Look at the bias. Look at the inequity there. And why are they catering to the Asians? You know why? Because the amount of white people in this country is shrinking. That's right. And whenever the amount of white people in America shrinks, America looks to find other white groups or other minority groups that they can build an alliance with to protect their power and their interests. Who better than the Asians? They're just as conservative politically as many middle-class white Americans. They are just as economically comfortable as many middle-class white Americans. They don't like black people just as much as many middle-class white Americans. Not to mention that this can go a long way towards building relationships with Asian countries on the continent of Asia that America can't afford to build an alliance with Russia. Let us be clear about something. The continent of Asia is a big problem for the U.S. government. You got three power nations on that continent. You got Russia that America can't stand. You got China that America can't control. And you got India, which is one of the fastest growing populations. And it is quickly becoming the IT giant of the world. Kamala Harris is not the vice president by accident. Kamala Harris is the vice president on purpose because America needed to send the nation of India an olive branch to improve their relations because America can't afford for India to get tight with China or Russia. This is politics. And they're going to use the Asians, okay, as probationary whites. They're going to upgrade them to probationary white status to make sure that they stay on the side of the white man and not go on the side of the black man. This Asian agenda is a distraction from the issues that are affecting black people. How do you sign an executive order for the transgenders, executive orders for the Asians? He has signed nothing for black people. And mind you, Envy and Charlemagne, there have been at least five notable police terrorism cases on Joe Biden's watch. You had the 16-year-old sister who was shot four or five times with the knife. Mm -hmm. And I don't want nobody to tell me that the police were justified. We're going to get to that. Okay, I got you. But the five, her, Mm -hmm. 